Hey, what's up, guys? I know this video is very overdue, but I'm gonna be showing you guys all the boss fights and uncollected this month. So the first boss we have is Ronin, who's un um, what is it? Debuff immune for so like 20 signed seconds, and then also has mighty charge and probably should have read the notes before I went in this fight, like on that first day, because I got this these these this gameplay is really old. This is all like first day, like I just hopped into it. But I literally didn't even read the nodes, so I got slapped in the, in the beginning a little bit. But once I realized what the nodes were, I was like, okay, this is easy. But, um, yeah, Ronin's just easy. Just bring in anyone. Really, he doesn't need, like, a specific counter. Just be careful on the first, like, 18 second phase, whatever. It is. Then next we have She-Hulk, who, like, basically, you have to use heavies or you're going to do no damage. So, a perfect champion I brought was Domino, because, you know, Domino with that heavy attack. This is only a rank 3 Domino. This fight would have ended, like, a lot faster than it did. But, yeah, Domino still puts in work. Just anyone that has strong heavy attacks. Because that flux thing, if you build it up to, like, 20, you start doing zero damage unless you use a heavy attack. So, it's, like, just you need any characters with heavy attacks, and it'll be easy fight. I don't know if this note has limber or not, but Domino with full synergies gives her, um, what is it? Gives her, like, one second time added to the stun, so like you're guaranteed to always have a stun. This mode, this node, I don't think is limber. It's not that big a deal. Just use anyone with heavy attacks and you'll be fine. I used a special three here for some reason, even though she's bleed immune. So that's fun. But yeah, this fight overall isn't that bad. I'd say if you have a domino with the Trinity, just bring her in. She's probably like one of the best counters. Or Captain America. Or like, I don't know. Anyone with strong heavy attacks and you'll be fine. So, now we move on to fight number three, which is a breakthrough rage. Um, Captain Marvel, and you just want, I mean, you can use anyone for this fight, honestly, but if you use, like, high-ranking characters, that rage will go up straight to five really quickly, mixed with breakthrough nodes, like, any character, so I just found energy, characters that do any energy damage, like, Symbiote Supreme, and other characters, also, when I was getting this gameplay, I was, like, in class, so, like, people were trying to talk to me while I was getting this, so, like, I think for the next fight especially, the Iron Man fight, you're gonna see me like, I think it was like pause or like get hit a few times because I wasn't paying any attention. But I was fucking up these special ones pretty badly. But ignore that. But other than, like the note itself isn't that hard. You just gotta know how to dodge her special ones and you'll be fine. I finally dodged it there. And then do I launch special three? Yeah, I launch special three. I don't stun her before, which is kind of surprising. But like I was saying, half this game, but I was getting like in class because the update came out at 1 p.m. and I was just like rushing to get these but I think I one shot every boss except for... <sighs> did I I one shot every boss I think yeah I think I did but that Captain Marvel really easy fight just bring in Sim Supreme or any mystic character this fight I think I um had people talking to me all right what did I or is this a different fight this is a Iron Man Infinity War so just Corvus He's just easy. He's not really. Any, he's not going to be anyone's main problem. I'd say the main problem for this month is probably going to be the Aegon over the Silver Surfer, honestly, just because it's like a stamina fight, which you're going to see soon. But Iron Man, I'm just Corvus food, honestly. He's just such, just so easy for Corvus just to destroy. I'm surprised I didn't go for a medium there. I don't know what that was, but whatever. Uh, he's dead. And I'm not. So the next fight is Aegon. This is where the problems might actually start. He has power shield, which is none of your attacks do any damage. And like except none of your attacks do any damage, but your special attacks do 400 percent damage. So your only attacks are gonna be special attacks. And then he has this node where like I forgot what it's called, but it's like basically you have to get like a 100 hit combo to kill him. You get five heal charges, and if he dies, then the heal charges will heal him back up like 20 percent. And every combo, like every hit in your combo meter. Or every 20 hits in the combo meter will take away one of these charges. So you get him to like 20 hits like I'm about to. You're going to see one of the charges go away. Down to four. He has debuff immune and increased power gain. So you never really have to like... You can always push him to one special. So it's pretty easy. I found characters. Characters with like lots of hits. And decently damaging specials are good. Like like Stealth Spider-Man for example. He has a seven hit combo. So you can get those Lazarus... I think it's called Lazarus. You can get the Lazarus charges off way easier but i found the blade the blade works a treat for this fight because he doesn't have a lot of hits on his combo he just does a normal five hit but his special two has like a thousand hit components to it so it takes away like a lot of um hits on the combo meter so 
Already with one special too, he's down like 50%-ish. And I'm about to drop a second special too. And you're gonna see the heal charges work, but I still out damaged it kind of. I knocked him down, I think he has like one charge left, one or two charges, I can't really see, cause I think it's one charge, yeah, you got one charge left. But I think I'm gonna go for a special one here, but do I? Let's, yeah, I go for a special one. Last heal charge is gone. And now he's, oh, I almost got hit there. That block damage is crazy because it's six furious and an A gone. So, you know, you got to be careful with that. You want to just try not to get, take too many blockage from this guy. He's going to get wreck you. So I'm building up for one special one, one more. And then to end this man career. So, yeah, any character with, like, strong special attacks and lots of hits, you'll be fine. So then finally we got Silver Surfer. I'm kind of mad because I got such a nice one shot on him. But the recording didn't save, so I had to re-go into the fight. So basically, he has the um, node that you have to knock him down to, like, disable his shield. And then you can only kill him in that time window. And if you try to kill him when the shield's active, he'll heal back up a little bit. And I had such a good one-shot, but the recording didn't save. So I think I go in for a second fight. And I don't get the one-shot. So this is not going to be one-shot, but, like, just keep knocking him down. And then once he's lit, drop a special three. How did I fuck this fight up? Wait, I'm just trying to watch. What happened? Oh, I think he goes up to like a special three. Oh, uh, yeah. In the first fight, I would just knock him down, and then once the shield was down, I would just launch special two, and he would just die. But this fight, I don't even know what happened. What, what went wrong? I think I launched my special three. It's already He's already so lit. Just, this guy is probably easier than Aegon. His specials are kind of weird, but like, they're not that hard. Special two, try to push him to that if you can, because special two is really easy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to knock him down here. Oh, I think I got in like a, oh yeah, I ran out of charges. So a special two is just coming at you like that. It's really easy to dodge. Now that his shield's gone, how did I, did I not get the one shot? This looks like it was easy. Where did I mess up? So this recording is like three days old. I meant to upload this like the day of, but I kind of like forgot. Oh, I got hit. Oh, wait, what the? Okay. So, oh, he had unblockable and I didn't realize. Okay, that's kind of tragic, but for this fight... You want to bring in someone who just constantly knocks you on the ground, really. Like, any of these characters work fine. Any character you have works fine. But I think he also has... Does he have Limber? I don't think he has Limber. He might have Limber. Um, does, I don't think he has Limber. But if he does, you could just use special attacks to knock him on the floor. And then this node can be kind of annoying, as you can see, because they just keep healing up. So you just need to find the perfect op like window to throw a special attack in. And that's how you pretty much want to deal with this fight. You just gotta find the perfect window where you knock him down and the shield's like unactivated to like launch a special. You're gonna see a special one now. I dodged it. That was like my first time even seeing the special one. Cause my first run with Corvus, I actually, um, I, I didn't realize this, but like my first run with Corvus, I actually one shot him on. He didn't even have a chance to throw a special, so I didn't like know what the specials were. So right here, I was just waiting for the special three, dropped it, and that's the fight. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.